My favorite first lady is hard to pick. Typically, I break them up by my favorite first lady of the 1700s, 1800s, 1900s, and 2000s. But if I had to pick one, I'd go with Lucy Hayes at this point. Lucy Hayes, if we look at her pictures from when she was very, very young to the last known picture we have of her sitting on her front porch at Spiegel Grove in Rutherford's hat, big brim hat, feeding pigeons off the front porch, she doesn't change. Her hair is the same. Her clothes are similar. She's comfortable in her own skin. This is very, very difficult for anyone to do in politics. Washington has certain expectations. Washington will criticize you if you don't meet those expectations. And Lucy got a little bit of that criticism. She was called a country bumpkin a little bit, being from the wilderness of Ohio, being, being, being sort of this untamed woman from, from the, the, the western side of the country. But she was a woman that was comfortable in her own skin and unchanged by the pressures of Washington. She does this going into Washington. She stays that way coming out of Washington. And I think going in and having that experience in politics and being in the White House and being in the public eye like that and not changing says a lot about a woman's, any person's integrity.